Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another important concept, new concept that is nested roads. So to explain the concept of nested roads using the Angular 18 standalone com components, let's try to see it. So now we, in this video, we'll say, see, we'll show how to set up the child roots with a parent root and we'll use the standalone components. So in Angular, child roots allow you to nest routes under a parent root. This is useful when you want a specific part of your application to display different views based on navigation, but still maintain some shared layout or the content. For example, let's say that uh, imagine you have a first component and it has two child components, child A component and also a child B component. First component might display a shared layout like a navigation menu or something like that and the child components render based on the current route. So then we will be using this nested thing. So for that one, what we will try to do it, let's try to create a, a components for this one. So already we have a first component. So what I will try to do it is I will create the child A component and also child B component. So NGGC child A component. Okay. And the another one which I want to create is the child B component. So let's go by the time. Let's go on to the app.routes.ts file. So here we are having the first component, second component, and these are all the things we are having it, right? So I don't want to uh, mix up these all the things. So here we are having the first component. So in this first component, I want to create a children root. So, okay. So we will be using the children like this. So I will try to show you one by one. Let's try create NGGC child B. So I am creating this child B also. So now let's go to the first component. So in the first component, what I want to do it is it's have, it will have its own nav with the links to the child component and route routelet. So that means, so let's say that app.component.html in this one, I don't want to create this nav and all those things. I will. So here, this is our route routelet and I will go to the first component.html file. So in this one, I want to have a navigation. Okay. So let's try to create a first component. So this is our H2 first component. And why it's coming like this H2 first component. First component dot HTML file. Okay. Let's try to remove it. H2 first component. I don't know why it has came like that. Okay, fine. First component and I will be having a nav link. In this one, I will be having a UL and LI. Okay. So here I can have a router link, router link, router link is equal to. So here I will be having the child hyphen A and this one will be child A and the another one, same thing like this. Okay. Sorry. So I can have the same thing like this and I will paste it. And here I will be having the child B and here I can have a child B. Okay. That's it. So now we are, we already have a two child roads. So now at the bottom, what we need to do it is we need to create a router outlet here so that the child route will load here in this place. So fine. So now we have created our first child component, right? So let's try to create our first child component. So now what I want to do it is in our first component, child A component, uh, what I can do here in our child component. So just child A component, so same like this only, we'll keep it like that one only. And now we need to define the routes for this one. So where we need to define the routes? In our app.routes.es file. So we need to define the routes here. So here you will be having in the first component, you will be having something like a children. Okay. So this will take an array. And here in this one, you will mention the path that is nothing but whoever opens the child A, child hyphen A, and we need to load the component that is nothing but child A component. In the same scenario, child B, we will be having the child B, okay, child B, and whoever opens the component, it should be child B component. So here I need to keep it like child B component, child B component that's it so now here we this is the first component and child a and child b component we have did it so now that we have defined the routes whenever the user navigates to first component slash child a the first component will be re rendered with the child a component inside the route routelet so let's try to see the output for this one so let's try to see the output for this one 715 error occurs in the template first component i don't know what is that 
error route outlet okay okay so what we need to do we need to have the uh, router outlet here router outlet and also we need to have the router link also because we are using the both the options right so now let's see that yeah it has been executed now if you go into our output and if you try to check it here the first component if you try to check the first component so here you will be able to see the child a and child b and the benefit of this one is nested components is so this layout will be rendered like that only and if i click on the child a you will be able to see the, the sub component or the child component has been loaded at the bottom wherever the uh, router outlet has been defined and if you click on the child b and the child b works also it has been loaded so this is how actually the nested routing will work so here the first component has a router outlet that acts as a placeholder for the child component so here in our first component so we are having a router outlet which will act as a placeholder for the child components child components like child a component or ch and child b component are rendered inside the router outlet of the parent when their respective paths are navigated to so the routes configuration defines the parent child uh, relationship with the children array so here in our thing so the different the, the relationship between the parent and the children will be defined in the children thing so this setup allows you to create nested more organized routing structure in your angular application so this is how you will be designing it and for example let's say that when you are you are having a child uh, 404 page or something like that means then what you can do for example let's say that here you are having a route which doesn't matter then automatically it will move to the 404 not page and if you want to have this one means so in our app.component.html you can have a header page also so here you can have it oh sorry this one is all uh, uh, and i can copy this one and i can paste it here so this is our angular route app header you can have it something like a header here now if you try to check the output for this one so now so this is our header okay and let's say that uh, and this is our first component if you open this one so this is our first component so angular root app router app header will be like as it is like that only and this is our navigation let's assume that this is something looks like our navigation and when i click on the child a you will be able to see the pages uh, at the thing so this is our top navigation and this is our side navigation and whenever you click on here the content will be changed as well so this is how if you want to achieve this type of uh, uh, what i can say is this type of functionality and all those things the only way which could be possible is the through the child routing only and here what we need to do so you as you already people know about this one in app.config.ts uh, so you need to provide the router so this will be automatically added into this one that's not a problem but if you if it is not added means you need to have a added provide router and the routes these routes will be coming from the app.routes.ts file so this is how we will be implementing the child routing or the nested routing in the angular hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.